Is the drop over or is the drop really just getting started? That's what we're going to cover in today's video. Welcome to Precision Trading Academy. Go ahead and like and subscribe and let's go ahead and dive right in. So this is the drop that we had in March of 2020. Okay. As you guys can see, uh, this was the COVID crash. This is the one where the lockdown started happening and things like that. Prior to the stimulus package all coming in, essentially, guys, this was when the world was starting to end, right? Um, and there was a lot of re really, really legitimate fears that crypto is going to die. I'm going to go ahead and link a card in the description uh, just so you guys can see. I did a video on this months ago to give you guys an idea of how I was feeling and everything like that. But this is the COVID crash. And if you guys can see from the top of the bottom, we had a 64% decrease in the market cap. Okay, this is absolutely astronomical. No, we have not reached these levels yet. Um, and I don't think that we are anywhere near the sentiment level that we had back then. All right. Um, I remember sitting in bed and it was just absolutely horrible. All right. All of my all of my assets essentially went to zero. Most people were legitimately saying crypto is dead, not just like, you know, um, it, 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 it cannot come back. That was the level right now. People are still placing bids. They're still thinking, oh, you know, it still looks healthy. But it's got to drop down to 14,000, et cetera, right? Back here, legitimate people were done, okay? They left crypto, okay? Um, and it was, the sentiment was absolutely horrible. We were never going to recover. So because people are still talking about how we're going to recover, we're still looking at bullish these systems, things like that, I, I really don't think the bottom is in yet, all right? Now, just to show you guys how, uh, where we are in this cycle, I took this and I moved it over to our current price action just to give you guys an idea of where I think we are at, okay? This is the top that I think makes the most sense, okay? So uh, I drug the fractal. This is the 2020 crash, and I have attached it to this area, you guys can see we have the bottom, the top of the retracement, then come back down. Uh, you can also see how this level lines up pretty well. It just overall, I think this is the best fit for our current price action. Now, as you guys can see, I am currently in trades. I am trading this range. I think that we do have some further upside to go, but it very easily could fall through here. And if it does, I think it's going to get extremely violent. Okay, extremely violent. Uh, as you guys can see, there's really no support beneath us from here all the way down to about 20,000. There's really nothing here to give us any support level. All right. Um, and just like in the COVID crash, 64% drop brings us all the way down to 17,000. That's obviously a very low number. And don't be surprised if some exchanges do wake down even further. Obviously not down to the negatives, guys. No kidding, right? But I would not be surprised if we do get a wake all the way down to about 8,000 up to about 20,000. I am going to be placing some blind bids here just to see what gets filled. Um, but that's really what we're looking for, guys. Now, the only other way to really invalidate this is to get back into this channel. Remember this channel we were talking about for a long time? Well, we've now fallen beneath it. And so at this point, I think we're going to get a small recovery bounce up to this region. And then we're going to continue going back down. And I think this makes the most sense. Um, now, if we do get this capitulation, okay, um, which I think is pretty likely at this point, um, let, me, let me rephrase that. I'm not even going to say it's very likely. I think the important thing is, is that the risk cannot be defined here. And the absolute, the, the, the risks are insurmountable. Okay, this is insurmountable amount of risk right now. And it looks pretty uncanny at this point. So, insurmountable amount of risk. Um, I'm in this trade. However, if I lose my stop losses, I'm going to go entirely into fiat and I will be placing bids all up in this area. Okay. So from 8,000 up to 20,000, I feel pretty comfortable that if we drop down in those levels, I will be able to exit those in profit. And that's what I'll be doing now. Um, and the only way to really invalidate it, guys, is to get back in this channel and start making some bullish market structure, which we just don't have. Okay. The trend is absolutely down and we cannot underestimate the absolute power of this movement so far. And we also cannot um, underestimate how we do not have anything that resembles strength just yet in the market. Okay. Um, this is the golden pocket zone. I, uh, this entire region is a golden pocket. We do have a lot of support in this region. However, we've already tested it very deeply. And if we do not get a really good push up here and break, then we have to assume the golden pocket's also not going to hold. Now, let's talk about capitulations, okay? Let's talk about the structure. I think there's a lot of misconceptions on how this operates and essentially what to expect, all right? 
Um, and this is not a, you know, immediate sort of thing. This is over the next, you know, weeks, weeks to even months possibly, okay? This does not play out immediately. Generally, what happens on these structures is you're going to have an initial drop, okay? And the initial drop is going to go like this, strong drop, okay? It's going to wipe out everybody. If you are in a leveraged long position, you will get wiped. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's it. If you are in altcoins, it's going to be even worse, okay? Essentially, all exchanges will basically go to zero on your altcoins, okay? So if you're in a leveraged position, you're going to get liquidated, period. That's all there is to it. Now, if you're in a spot position, or if you are picking up those, those coins really, really cheap, you have no risk getting liquidated because guess what? Those are your coins that you hold on to. So you very well could get generational wealth opportunities at these regions if we do have a really nice wick and those altcoins do recover. Um, you could have got some coins at literally zero back in 2020, okay? Like no kidding, zero. If you put any bids on the exchange, you would have picked them up. So if you believe in the long-term success of cryptocurrency, this could be a really, really good opportunity, okay? Now, once the initial drop happens and it's gonna be very violent and a lot of volume and a lot of capitulation and, and people basically giving up on crypto, okay? That's really the big sign I'm looking for. Once they ultimately just give up on crypto it's never going to happen no matter what you always are going to get a bounce the other direction okay because as it drops people will short the market and it's going to keep increasing 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 and the shorts will increase rapidly as it keeps dropping because as it drops and people are losing money they say oh well it's dropping really hard i'm gonna enter a short position i'm gonna make money from this okay so what happens is they start to get into profit starting to get into profit starting to get into profit and then once the shorts load up and there are no more longs open up, what's going to happen? You're going to have a short squeeze and the short squeeze will be very violent. Okay. Short squeeze will be very violent. You're going to have a massive increase in price back up to uh, the top again, or not necessarily the top. You're going to get a really strong bounce. Now let's go over here and I'm going to show you what that looks like um, on here. Remember this is on a daily. Let's, oh, let's go to the four hour. You guys can see even clearer. Just give you an idea of how this, these sort of capitulations work. So once you have the actual capitulation, okay, way down here, then you get an exit pump. And this exit pump is going to be a short squeeze, okay? And this is all of the people who enter short positions late are going to get liquidated on the other direction, okay? So basically, you have this massive drop of 64%. Then you come over here and then you're going to have this massive long or short squeeze of 58% from the lows. Okay. So everyone who's long gets liquidated and then everyone who's short gets liquidated. Okay. Basically, everyone gets messed up in this trade. If you try to enter the market late as a short, you're also going to get liquidated the way up. This right here is the primary level that you're looking to sell out if you uh, we're able to get some really good bids down there. Okay. Let me say that again. If you're able to get some really low bids, you don't hold it the whole time. Instead, you let it bounce, uh, let it drop, fill your bids, come back up here, and you sell on that initial exit bounce. It is a quick sell, quick in, quick out. Um, just to give you guys an idea, uh, I did this on this last drop with mana. I bought it at 74 cents, I sold it about a dollar 20. This is the exact same thing. What is mana trading at now? Probably a little less than that, I'm assuming. I don't even know, all right? The point is though, guys, buy here, sell here, wait, okay? Buy here, sell here, and you wait because these things are very rarely a V-shaped bottom like a lot of people may be expecting. Instead, usually what happens is you're gonna have a basing period, okay? So after it drops, after it increases, you're now gonna have a base that establishes. And this could take a long time, okay? These bases will take a long time. This is where you start establishing your ranges and things like that. You base, you base, you base. There's no reason to buy here, none, okay? Instead, you bought here, you sold here, now you just wait. And then eventually you're going to have a markup, okay? Um, let me adjust a little further. There you go. Now you have a markup. Once you have this impulse up past the initial bounce, this is when you start becoming interested in, in re-entering the market, right? Markup, retest, this retest, this is where you actually enter for your long-term positions. So capitulation, buy here, sell here, wait, 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 
when it breaks to the upside, you have your markup. This is when you are now interested in looking in positions, wait for the retracement, buy the retracement, and that's when you can actually look into getting your long-term positions, okay? And these bases can take a long time to form, okay? Give you an idea, let's go back to the one that happened in March 2020. This base took, realistically, it took from here, uh, let's say to here, okay, 46 days to get back up to just a decent level, all right, but before the uh, original bounce, right? And then you had your markup, and the markup still had its retracement, and then you waited, waited, waited until you finally broke above the previous capitulative highs, which took an additional 90 days, okay? And remember, this was the start of the massive bull run, okay? So this was when people were accumulating and things like that. These things will take a very, very long time, so don't rush it, guys, all right? You have plenty of time to get in the market, establish these ranges, okay? Um, but the way that I'm looking for, I have bids placed way down here. I'll be selling way up here, and I'll wait, 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 wait. I'll probably play the ranges a little bit, depending upon uh, with tight stop loss, et cetera. But essentially what I'm waiting for is a markup, and then the buy and the retracement. That's what I'm looking for, all right? Um, and that's how you do with these uh, capitulations. Um, so let's talk about if the capitulation's over, right? Let's say it is, which is definitely a legitimate possibility. I told you guys, just like if this was the capitulation, what am I doing? Bought here, right? And I bought mana down here. I sold the bounce. So what am I doing? I'm waiting. I'm playing a little bit of, of ranges right now, okay? But until we get a strong markup, I'm not interested in buying in this market. So if this is done, I'm still playing it the exact same way if I, that I would play it if we still have a lot further down to drop. It's the exact same pattern. But basically, we don't know where the bottom is going to be. Guys, this is aggressive. There is a lot of a sell pressure. There's a lot of really, really bad things looking on the charts. Um, the, the traditional markets look absolutely jacked. Bitcoin dominance is breaking the upside. There's a lot of really ugly things happening across the market, and there's no reason to rush into leverage positions or into a position yet until there's more clarity in the market. And we absolutely do not have it yet. So is the bottom in? Possibly. I don't think it is, but it's possible. No matter what, this is how I'm playing it, all right? Um, just so you guys are aware, I am going on vacation. I'm leaving, to, leaving really today. I'm going on vacation. I will be still posting on Discord, okay? Some updates. I'll be posting on Discord. Nowhere else, just Discord. Very, very unlikely to do a YouTube video over the next week or so, um, but I will be posting on Discord occasional updates, but make sure you guys are on there. Um, I have done live streams every single day for the last like four or five days. Each one has been multi-hour, usually three, four, five hours a piece, so I've been very available to you guys, but just know that I will not be available on YouTube for the next few weeks, or next week, not few, next week I will not be on YouTube. I will be on Discord as much as possible. Um, and then also, um, I have suspended uh, Patreon payments for the next month. That means if you join the Discord now, you will not be paying until July, okay? So your first payment will be done on July 1st. So you can get the whole month of May and also June free. Um, and you will not be paying until July in case if you want to join the Discord. I think there's a ton of really, really good value in there. Uh, we have been trading this morning. You guys can see these are all the trades that I've been doing just this morning. Um, I think it's a lot of value. If you guys if you guys want to check it out, definitely do that. Um, it's pretty awesome. And we, do, we also have some really cool things happening in the background on the Discord side as well. Um, I'm not going to announce it yet. I want to get everything finalized. But uh, just understand Precision Trading Academy, the name change. Uh, there, there's a good reason for it. So there's a lot of really, really cool stuff happening. So um, either way, go guys, be very, 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 very safe. There's a lot of really dangerous things happen in the market. Oh, one more thing I want to cover. One more thing, sorry. Um, Bitcoin dominance, okay? Talked to you guys before about my levels on Bitcoin dominance, right? How we have, this was like our, you know, altcoin season possible. This is altcoin season down here. These are the alts are doing really well, but you know, we're having some issues. Um, and I said up here, Bitcoin and fiat. 
Okay, Bitcoin and fiat, that's all I'm looking for. Well, guess what, guys? We're now in the Bitcoin or fiat spot. I'm not trading anything but Bitcoin, and I'm transitioning over to fiat, and I'm not holding any altcoins. I have zero altcoin exposure right now, guys. Zero, zip, nada, none, absolutely zero. I'm only trading Bitcoin, and I do think Bitcoin is going to basically dominate until, realistically, probably up to this region, 60s. Maybe up in this region, but ultimately, guys, I do expect Bitcoin to outperform all over the next uh, few weeks. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. That is all I'm buying. That's all I'm trading. Um, that's the only thing I feel comfortable in holding right now. So um, outside of that, I think that's basically all the broad strokes. If you guys have any questions, like always, let me know. Um, and I will see you guys on YouTube in about a week, and I'll see you on Discord a lot more than that. So um, all right. Have a good day, and I will uh, see you in the next video. Deuces, boys. I'm out.